All-terrain vehicles are popular, especially in the summer months, but many local police departments are cracking down on the illegal use of ATVs. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima explains how you can enjoy these outdoor vehicles safely and properly. She joins us from the control room with more. Taunton police officers conduct random ATV enforcement about once or twice a month. On those days, they issue hundreds of dollars worth of citations, many of which are avoidable with a little education. If you've ever ridden on an all-terrain vehicle, you know just how thrilling it can be. But if you aren't aware of the laws associated with them, a good time can turn into a hefty fine. The biggest thing is with us is education. Taunton Police Lieutenant Eric Nichols says illegal ATV use is relatively common throughout the area. Most of the citations that we hand out are either unregistered, uh, improper riding, trespassing on private property, uh, helmet violations is a big thing. And uh, all the violations, uh, civil violations, are $250 each, so it can get very expensive. On an average day of enforcement, Nichols says Taunton police issue more than $1,000 worth of citations. Just last week, Seekonk police posted these photos to their Facebook page showing the several unregistered dirt bikes and ATVs they towed from the town's water department property. In that one day, they also issued more than $5,000 worth of citations. It can be a very fun thing to do with your children, especially, you know, people like to ride with their kids if, if done appropriately and done safely. And Nichols says they also use enforcement days to try and track down stolen dirt bikes and ATVs to return them to their rightful owners. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.